it's Camille, and today I'm doing a sort of a weird, interesting video. But pretty much, I lost my makeup bag in Connecticut, so I don't have any of my essentials, and that's including like every single part of makeup eyes, lips, face, brushes, everything. So, since I don't have that, I had to redo like my entire makeup face routine. So I found that this was like kind of a fun opportunity to go through old products that I used to love and to try out some new products I've got recently that I haven't tried out. So kind of discovering and rediscovering new products. I also challenge you guys to do something like this. Go outside of the bag to try some other products that you haven't used. And maybe you'll find something you love. So the first product I'm using, I've tried before, but I always forget about it. It's the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. And every time Leah comes to visit, she always uses this for some reason. She goes to my vanity, and then she's like, oh, the watermelon, and then uses it. I'm like, okay, you have this. If you guys don't already watch Leah, you should. Link in the description box. I know my hair's a little bit messy, but I'm doing that at the end. It smells so good. It really does smell like watermelon. So next I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which is pretty much a primer that will hold on any makeup that you put on top of it. This stuff is kind of thick, which I think is what helps with the grippy properties. So this is the most exciting part about losing my makeup bag, is that I get to break out a brand new beauty blender, because the one in my bag was disgusting, and I think it was like chipped, it's just like, it was overused, it was, I had to retire that anyways. But yeah, that's the reason to actually replace this and get a brand new one. I forgot how pink they are, mine was just like so dull and gross. <laughs> so the saddest part about losing my makeup bag is because I had the perfect foundation in there. It was the Bare Minerals Long Lasting one, and it matched my skin really well for the summer. So it's always really hard for me to find a foundation that matches, and this is like the best that I can do right now. I'm mixing two. They're both the Fenty Pro Filter foundations, and they're a soft matte long wear foundation, blah, blah, blah. Um, they actually are really long wear, but the problem with that is that these are really dry, so it's hard to blend out if you put it on, like, you dab it all over your face. By the time you get to blending the other part, it's already dry. So for these, my little hack I have is I like to use a moisturizer mixed in or some kind of oil or something like moisturizing so it won't dry as quickly. And the shades I'm using are 310 for the lighter one and 330 for the darker one. So because that stuff is hardly blendable, I'm mixing that with the Derma E Rosehip and Cranberry Face Oil, which I like to use on its own, but is also really good for mixing into dry foundations. So this is going to be quite the cocktail. I am doing one and a half pumps of 310 and one and a half pumps of 330, as well as a few drops of the Derma E Face Oil. And I'm just gonna blend that all together on my hand. All right, so I'm just gonna be dabbing that all over my face so I can spread that out pretty easily and I'm not gonna worry about it drying before I get to blend it on any areas because we put in the Derma E oil and that solved all of our problems. I do like how long lasting this foundation is. It's just the drying part that makes it like hard to blend that I don't like. Next I'm using my Milk Makeup Flex Concealer in Medium and this is perfect for my under eyes. I'm just gonna dot that under my eyes a little bit to brighten them up. And a little bit down the bridge of my nose as well. Using my fancy new beauty blender to blend that out. So before I add powder, I just wanna make sure that my face is as moisturized as possible, especially because of the Fenty foundation. So I'm gonna be using the Garnier Hydrating Facial Mist and this has aloe in it and it's pretty much just to hydrate your face. You can do it without makeup, you can do it on top of makeup and I'm doing it on top of makeup so I can make sure that I'm not dry. I just like how that feels. So next I'm using the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder and the reason that this isn't in my makeup bag is because the white one was in there, the translucent one, and I didn't know if this would be like the right color for me, but it is, and this is in Warm Saffron. Um, I like this because it really just, it's very easy to use, the pieces are really small, and it definitely helps with shine, so that's why I used it on a beach photo shoot the other day. And I'm just using my e.l.f. complexion brush because this brush has been through everything with me and it never disappoints. So this is a product I've had and I've never used, I hadn't even swatched it until today, but this is by the brand Note, and it's their Silk Blush in the shade Desert Rose, and it's just a really beautiful 
peachy, but like not too orange. The right amount of depth for my skin tone. I'm using the same e.l.f. complexion brush because I like to use this for powder and for blush. So I'm just starting with a little bit and then I'm gonna build it up. It is pretty pigmented, look at that. <laughs> Pigmented blush. Cute. So this thing in my makeup bag has made me realize that I have like no contours that are really good. Like my skin tone does not like cool tone bronzers, which I find a lot. And then a lot on the other end of the scale are just like way too warm and it makes me look just like gross. <laughs> but the only bronzer I found that's like the right amount of cool and warm. I'm so embarrassed to say this. My hard candy bronzer from like 40 years ago and it's like one of those baked bronzers so it's good for contour but it also has a little shimmer shimmer but I don't even know if this product exists anymore it's been so long and this has definitely made me realize that I need to find new contours so if you have any recommendations leave them in the comments down below I'm using a BH Cosmetics 114 brush I'm just getting in there with the contour adding that color adding that shimmer I'm just gonna do some light contouring around my chin and my forehead, just a little bit. I'm not even gonna contour my nose today because this is like shimmery. I need a matte contour. <laughs> so for highlight, I've been using the Makeup Forever one, but since that is gone, I decided to go into my highlight drawer, which is actually like really big, and I really need to switch on my highlights because I can, but I keep neglecting some products like the Sam Marcel Paris Luxurious Highlight Palette, which has six different shades of highlight, so it's pretty much like anything that you would ever need or want. And for some reason, Camille has just been neglecting this, but I tried it today and there are two shades that I really like. Soleil is the lightest one, it's like a white gold, and then Clay Chic is the next one that I like, it's a darker gold. Um, but I like to mix the two together so it gets a nice medium warm highlight. And I don't like Clem because it's cool tone, which is like strange because it looks kind of warm on here. But I like to use the two at the end and just mix them together on my fan brush. So this is the Eco Tools Highlight Brush. It's a fan brush, but it's like nice and fluffy, so it gives a really nice highlight and is super easy to blend with. So I'm really glad I found this palette because the color combination is beautiful and it really just gives a nice sheen. I'm also gonna highlight my nose and my eyebrow under area parts, as well as my inner corner. It almost kind of looks wet on my cheek. That's amazing. It has really small little micro, micro things, powders. You know what I'm saying. What is the word for really small powdered pieces? Microfiber. I know, that's what I was saying. I was like, microfiber? These aren't fibers. Uh, Pixels? This has really tiny pixels. <laughs> Molecules. Like I think micro... Micro something. micas. Yeah. Moving on. It's <laughs> crazy. I'm gonna have to figure out what that is. Okay, we are through with the face makeup. So now moving on to, I feel like this is easier. Uh, let's do brows. This is by Winky Lux. I don't know what the shade is. I think it's supposed to be the shade for anyone, like a universal thing. I don't really know, but this is what it looks like. So I'm using the brown side to fill in my brows, and then on the opposite end of it, it has this little brush, so I'm using that to brush out my brows and make them look a little bit more natural. Right, so next are eyes, and I am using this palette I got for Christmas like seven months ago. Thank you, Victoria. I'll link her channel in the description box down below. It's my sister. She started a beauty channel. Very exciting. She also gave me this Huda Beauty palette that I never used. I was so excited to get this, and then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna save it for a special time, a special video, whatever. Never got around to it, but you know what? Today is special because we are all healthy. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. I'm going to start by putting Secret in the crease, which is a nice mauve that's kind of like neutral enough where I feel like it's a good crease color. And I'm going to peel a little thing off the mirror. Whoa. I'm just doing some quick blending. These shimmery 
colors at the top are so cute. I could die and be happy wearing this right now. So I'm gonna pack that on with my It Cosmetic Chic Eyeshadow Brush. I'm starting with the shade Crave because it's just this beautiful, shimmery, lighter, uh, duo fiber. Why am I saying fiber? Duo chrome. <laughs> it has a bit of a duo chrome to it and then so does Fantasy, but it's just like a rich pink and it kind of goes with my whole look today. So I'm doing Crave on the inner half and Fantasy on the outer half. Just blending these in together a little bit better. So I'm also going to put Fantasy on the bottom and I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to hold it like pinched and flatten it. So I'm going to use this Milk Longwear Gel Liner, which I haven't used yet, but I've been meaning to try. So I'm just going to smudge that along my upper lashes and a little bit on my lower waterline just to give it a little bit of thickness before I put on mascara. Before I put on mascara, I'm using a setting spray and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting Blah Blah Blah. And it's supposed to hold for 16 hours and be lightweight and also have temperature controlled technology and it's summer so we'll see about that or in decay. I always do this before mascara because it does drip sometimes and I'm like not trying to do that kind of drip. I also just love spraying my face with stuff. I've been using like two mascaras on and off for a long time, but I love drugstore mascara. I feel like it's almost always better than a high end for some reason. So I'm using the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast, and I've used this for the last like two days, and I'm very happy with it. Now for lips, I'm using the Rouge Dior Classic Matte Lipstick, and that's in shade 772. Not a very creative name, Dior. This is a pretty matte color, so it goes on. I like how it goes on. I'm only applying it to the bottom and then like kind of working it into the top so it's not like super bright. I think I'm gonna tone it down a little bit with the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Pasadena. The last thing I'm doing for makeup is put on a clear gloss on top and this is the Stay Glossy Clear Gloss by Rimmel. That is it for makeup. The last thing I'm going to do is my hair because the other thing that I left in Connecticut is my eco styling hair gel, which was so disappointing for me because how am I supposed to lay my edges without it? But I also lost the toothbrush that I had with it, so I had to buy whole new toothbrushes, whole new eco styler, and they didn't even have the one that I'm used to, so. It's like a little bit of a remix, but I can handle it. So the toothbrush method has been treating me the best when it comes to edges, and I just happened to find this toothbrush on the ground outside in New York City. Like, you can find crazy finds outside. Kidding, I bought it in like a six pack from the dollar store. I think this was literally like $1 for six toothbrushes, so I figured that would be perfect for my edges, and next time my best friend comes over and she doesn't bring a toothbrush and ends up sleeping over, which is inevitable, so I'll have these as backup. Or for the next time I lose my stuff. So first I'm just gonna slick my hair up. I have some leave-in conditioner and some water in here. And I'm gonna make it really tight top knot. I've just been loving top knots lately. I'm like this is so cute. I look like a blue version of Kim K on paper magazine for top knot. Okay, I like this. The eco styler that I was able to find on short notice is the olive oil one. I think this was like three or four dollars at the dollar store that's like literally right next to my apartment. So I was like, you know what? That's awesome. I'll try out the olive oil one and see if it's just as good. So I did and I think it's pretty good. So I'm not even mad about it. I also like the top because you open it instead of like twisting it off and then like gel on your hands and then you don't want to put it back on as gross. Apparently it got an award from Naturally Curly this year. So that's awesome. I love that. So I'm just dipping the toothbrush into the gel in the cap and that gets the perfect amount. I like to start with the center part just so I can get that widow's peak swooped out properly. And then I'm gonna do this side starting at the top. Just like a little bit um, swoopy, I don't know. I'm just gonna lay this part. I'm going very casual with it today. And then with this, I just kind of like to swoop it back, just like straight back over my ear. This side is like not my best side because I'm not left handed, but let's do what we can here. All right, so that's it for this video. This is the final look. 
I hope you guys like it. I'm actually really glad that I lost my makeup bag because I rediscovered so many products. I've swatched things. I've discovered more in my collection, found old guys that I really like, and I feel just like glowy and beautiful because of that. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you were inspired by this, I challenge you to go through your collection and do your whole face with products that you don't normally use. And otherwise, I hope you found this entertaining. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I have links to all my other social in the description box down below. And I'm telling you, I am hilarious on Twitter, so you better check that out. <laughs> my dad thinks I'm hilarious. So thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I'll see you in the next video. Kisses.